community have this really preconceived idea about who ends up on the street, who ends up homeless. Yeah. Uh, and it's not true. It can happen so quickly and so easily. There's a lot of there's a lot of people like you that don't fit that stereotype, and it's really important that we hear that story because when that story's out there, then people care, and when people care, they move to act. It's, it's the reason why I'm playing Sleep in the Dirt. Good. On the 21st, I want to raise awareness of homelessness, and I want to raise awareness of your story. The more awareness we've got, the more I can do, and the more services we can provide to get people involved. Everyone in our community should be able to work. Everyone in our community should have a home. Everyone in our community should be able to participate. And that's what Bedford fights for. That's good. Yeah, I've always, I've always prided myself on being able to work and able to adapt. Um, and I found myself in a situation where I just thought, you know, I'm, I'm going nowhere. I, could. I had a house in Ethelton and the landlords decided they needed to sell the place. Mm -hmm. um, so from there I ended up not being able to find a place that was affordable and, and I ended up in a situation where I was living out of my car and couch surfing quite a bit and had to put my furniture and my belongings in different places. Um, when my health started to be affected by a few different things actually. Um, I was suffering a bit of high blood pressure. Um, I had a vein removed from my leg to stop clots and that sort of thing. Um, and then I uh, found out that I had a hernia and they had to be operated on. Um, after that operation, I was, I was still in the house. Um, another hernia had popped. Wow. And so they uh, put me in for the second operation and during that time it was when the landlords decided to sell up the house and all that sort of thing so I had to have somewhere to go to recover from the operation. That's, that's a struggle just mentally on the phone. Um, to have nowhere to go, just to have somewhere to go was tough. Yeah. Not to have that spot. Because all, all I had was the car at the time. And then the yeah, pride starts to take big knocks. And you're thinking, well, well why can't I? What about tonight? Why can't yeah, we're having a chat now. Where do you go tonight? Well, t tonight I'm, I'll leave here and um, hopefully I can have a roof over my head tonight. You are um, a very brave man and I. I think that you are incredibly inspiring to, even in those dark moments, to keep fighting and keep aiming for better and have the courage to stand up to a classroom with a group of people you've never met and a training you don't know and feeling so isolated and throwing yourself into that course. Your kids must be very, very proud of you. Yeah, I hope they think that. If I'm on the way down, you have to knock me down. No, I've, I've taken a few knocks. I sounds like a try. No, it, it has it's put its it's put its walls in front of me, but it I think the um, the course has actually put a mallet in my hand, and every now and again I just knock a brick out. So and, and the more bricks that I knock out, closer you are to the drain. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I've walked through that wall one day, and there won't be anything in my way.